Don't swear. Okay. <laughs> I want to start defensively. I think today you guys showed a lot of good things defensively. There's a ton of plays I can talk about. Dad Lee backing up a guy with Prairie making a diving catch. Jared Hart making a good catch. Do you think this team can be, how good do you think they can be defensively? So I just think we can be a superior defensive team, you know. And the uh, thing I like about it, a good defensive team, it's routine, you know what I mean? So the balls that we're supposed to do, we do. The good or great plays, you know, they don't happen that often, but when they're showing up right now, our guys are making good plays. So the thing I like about some of those things that you talked about earlier, it's just the awareness. There's always some place to be on a baseball field. Yeah. Your head's always up, you're ready for the next play, whatever it is. And so you see Bennett jumping out on a bunt, you see him backing up, right? Backing up first base as a catcher, is like the third baseman backing up the pitcher on a pickoff, right? It yeah. never happens. It just do, it doesn't ever get an overthrow until it does. Mm -hmm. And so it's the cry wolf type of thing. You just gotta do it every single time. And so he's in that position. And then defensively, you just limit the steps of the base runners, right? And when they try to make plays and you're in the right position, then you're able to do some yeah. of those things. So, um, you know, you look up, our outfields are always moving, they're backing up bases, catchers are being where they're supposed to be. I thought Louie had a really heads up play too. Yeah. They try to wheel a guy um, kind of on a tweener base hit, right? Safe that first, Louie doesn't panic, keeps his head up, looking for the next play, throws a strike, Abair sticks his face right down in there, and you know, yeah. so yeah. just things like that that can stalemate an inning or change the complexion of an inning and all those types of things, right? This is a game of momentum. So um, excited about the defense for sure. What also helps with the defense is the pitcher and the engagement, the speed at which they work, the strikes that they throw, right? Because it keeps people engaged and going so you just don't find yourself kind of in those lows. So um, I do. And uh, any good team that you look at, you know, they play good defense and they play a good game of catch. So, yeah, hopefully that's the course. Yeah, touching on the pitching, I thought Carmouche, incredible debut. Um, got a lot of swing throughs today. Looked like most things work. He said he didn't even need to throw the third ball much, yeah. um, which is good. But what do you think to say about his debut? Well, you know, uh, nothing but good stuff. You know, obviously, I think he uh, showed maturity. I thought he showed in control uh, strikes. And yeah. then you could see, right, it's just kind of coming from a 6'5 or 6' body as it is. And it's yeah. kind of all down here. It's long. It controls the running game. It can be quick. Um, the changeup is a separator pitch, you know. And so um, he was able to get a lot of swimming on those types of things. So just, uh, you know, the reason why I put him on Saturday is he pitched good enough to be in the Friday slot. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Hoffman with his experience and pitch last year for us in the rotation and stuff like that out of the season, um, felt comfortable about that. But felt really good also that a guy like Carmouche and his abilities to hopefully you win on a Friday, then he can put you in a position to sweep on Sunday. Yeah. Or if you weren't able to win on a Friday, he gives you that kind of presence and that kind of ability to throw strikes and change speeds so that, you know, you could even up the series even if it were to be in that situation. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I was real proud of him, you know, and uh, he's been doing that since he got here, so we're excited that he's here. And then uh, Brendan Lambert I mean, had a great game today as well. Is that those the type of at-bats you've been seeing yeah. you know, in the preseason that, that makes you start him at de de designated hitter? Yeah, no question about it. Uh, I would say from the first day of the fall through the spring, he was probably the most productive hitter that we had, and, uh, you know, he did a lot of things, walks, power, like you saw today, uh, two strike fight. He had a heck of a bat last night. He went down from 0-2 to on base in a big moment. Uh, three good swings today, a couple of yesterday. So you know, he's, he's earned that opportunity. So gives us a little bit of punch and gives us a chance to kind of lengthen up the line too, you know. So yeah. um, glad that he's here. Getting a lot of guys from that bats. Um, you didn't think maybe you got get at bats in this first series. How valuable is that to get them some, some looks? Yeah, and I don't know if I would agree with you there. And it's not that you said anything wrong. It's just I really like our competitive depth, you mm -hmm. know. And I just have a lot of good feelings about a lot of different people in different moments, um, you know. And the guys have done a good job to maybe stretch some, you know, scores so that we can get some of these guys in there. But uh, those are just experiences, right? And so the more we can do that, um, the better though everybody will be down the long end, you know. And the thing that I like about it the most is um, our guys are excited for other success. And so when I take them out, we make moves and things like that. 
There's high fives, there's baton passing. Go pick us up, good job. The guys are on the rail, they're engaged in other success. And so that's when you kind of know that, uh, you know, you got a team first type of culture. So, um, yeah, just excited that we're able to, first couple games out of the gate here, to get a bunch of guys in the field and in the batter's box and on the mound. So, um, those will just be good for us going through. And then last thing, in the eighth inning, that conversation with the, with the umpire, can you tell us what that was about? Yeah, I can. You know, Siegel is just, it's a pretty stationary delivery, you know, to start. And so he starts with his hands kind of together. It's a little bit wind up or stretched. And the declaration is kind of in haywire or haze there a little bit. And the hitter just needs to have something that would trigger the start of a delivery type of thing. And so um, they just were want him to do that and so I just use a timeout because I get X amount of them yeah. right and so um, I just wanted to go out there and tell him what they were looking for and then I was real proud of him because you know he hasn't been doing that and also he simply said if I just do this would this suffice yes it will um, strike <laughs> you know yeah. and so he didn't let it haywire him. His brain didn't get out of control. His breaths were still good. He was a freshman. Um, that can be a little bit different, right? When all of a sudden you're competing against another school and all this stuff like that and doing a little something different than he did in the past. But uh, I thought he handled it well. Great. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good one. Yeah, thank you very much.